Hello my germs and sperms and welcome back to Sonic Dash. You know that game where you play the Sonic character and you like run straight forward? Yeah, I'm playing that again today. Uh, so, uh, recently, um, I guess, um, just kind of as to break the ice with this video's conversation talking and whatnot, recently the Fortnite Big Bang event happened and... I gotta say, for for my first Fortnite event, not that bad. It was pretty alright. Got a really cool look at all the new stuff coming to Fortnite throughout this season. The concert was kind of mid. I honestly thought it was gonna be 30 minutes of an actual concert just in Fortnite. But it turns out now it was like 10 minutes of random parts of songs just being played in like a rhythm game. And right now I would be playing Fortnite Chapter 5, but instead, uh, um, the queues to get in, just to get into the game, are so fucking long. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, I was able to get in, I got the battle pass, I claimed like 2 V-Bucks, and then I couldn't even do anything more because, I don't know. I noticed my internet was a bit laggy, so I closed out the game to try to fix it. Relogged in, yeah, hour long queue, I don't think so. I'll wait a bit before I start playing Chapter 5. I mean, I would have got into some zero builds, but for some reason it just wouldn't load into zero builds. And I'm not about to go into build. I suck at building. I really don't care about building. And there I go. I suck at tapping the damn screen also. Anyways, let's move on to it. Gotta fill ten minutes of this shit. And then I can go and do a different character in a different video and Fill up time slots so when videos can be recorded and uploaded and all the whatnot and the hoo I've also been trying to think, how am I going to name these videos? Because half the reason that I wanted to redo Sonic Dash is because I had no idea what characters I had done and hadn't done. I think I figured that out. Just name the particular video blank dash. And I'll just fill the blank with whatever character I use for that 10 minutes. It's genius. I'm surprised not more people think of it. I'm truly ahead of my time. <clears throat> Gonna beat you like a drum. I mean, damn. I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Oh, this is about as engaging as Sonic Lost World on the Wii U. That's difficult as it too. Damn. Oh, good. That would have been very embarrassing if I trash talked Zaz that entire time and then got fucked over by the quick jump event. That would have been sad. That would have ruined my career. I'm kind of hoping that one day eventually Sega Hardlight will do another massive update and add in like three or four new zones to the game. Also, don't know why they took out the Green Hill Zone music for Green Hill. Guess people really were just tired of hearing Green Hill over and over.
I wonder if they ever do add in more zones. I wonder if it's done they would add. It. If I had to take a guess, they're, it's probably going to be using resources that they have just lying around. So, if I could guess, either uh, the zones would be themed after Sonic Superstars, Frontiers, or just more Generations levels. Most likely more Generations levels. Because those assets are just old enough to be perfect for a mobile game. So, we, so if we ever do get another zone, we can probably expect it to be a chemical plant. Um, shit, what are some other zones from Generations? We got Sky Sanctuary, Mushroom Hill, Green Hill, Chemical Plant. Start a Speedway, they do have assets for. Not like a whole bunch of them, but they do have assets for it. Strictly because of the metal part. Ah! Carnival Night. Not Carnival Night. Uh, Casino Night. Yeah, Casino Night game. That would be another I wouldn't be surprised if they added in purely because they had the resources on hand. <clears throat> Let's see, we got Seaside Hill. Um, let's see, what are the other adventure, uh, um, let's see, uh, Emerald Coast, Radical Highway, City Escape, Rooftop Run, no, that's the Monitor. Yeah, I think that's it. And then for the Monitor, there would be, um, Rooftop run. Uh, shit, I'm blanking on it. Planet Wist Tropical Resort Water Palace, I think it's called, from Rush. Uh, Crisis City, and that's it. So yeah, if I had to guess, those would be the most likely candidates. Or you would just straight up get the forces assets for you, or the speed ba battle assets for you. shit, I fucked that up. The speed battle assets were used for more dash levels. Any cards? Yes, I do! Okay, uh. Let's see, um, what's the magnet? This seems like a worthwhile upgrade. Uh, oh, I can go again. I'll do the magnet again. Alright, nothing else. And then after this, I'll be quickly done. But aside from just reusing generations and speed battle assets to make new levels, um, like I said earlier, I'd also see them reusing assets from Frontiers or Superstars since those are the newest, the most on hand that they would have. I mean, now when it comes to characters, now that's a bit more all over the place. They've pretty much used up every character they just have right there on hand. If I had to guess on what character we're gonna get next and when, I don't know. I still, I still want to see Starline and um, Rough and Tumble get put into dash. If I had to make a prediction, at some point we're we're probably getting at Starline eventually. If he makes a big return to the comet, then we're most likely to get him as as a Sonic Dash character. 
if he never does fully return, then yeah, we're probably never gonna see Starline as a Sonic Gas character. And then that rough and tumble, I could see very much. With Sega confirming Miami Ray and the Hooligans are all canon to the modern timeline, I would expect to see them at some point in Sonic Gas. As kind of like their big grandiose return slash introduction to the modern series. I mean, then that would be like a an easy win for Sega because they'd already have the models on hand for the mobile game. Just spruce them up a bit and boom, just put them in the next Sonic game, uh, either as cameos or DLCs. Yeah, I could see, I could see that. I could honestly see that. I wonder if we're ever gonna get any new bosses. I, if I had to assume, probably not. But I could see if Sega was truly desperate to um, revitalize interest in Sonic Dash for the majority of the fan base. And I could see them adding in a boss from whatever the next really big Sonic game would be. It's just a reclone of Zaz and Eggman. I hadn't thought that it would be nice if at some point they like added in the entire Deadly Sixes bosses and maybe made them playable at some point. I also thought Metal Sonic could be a cool boss. So I just had a thought, take the core concept of Sonic Dash as being an endless runner that never ends, spruce it up a bit with better controls, better graphics, more interesting and delicate level design that is procedurally generated, boom, put it out on consoles, and boom, you got like a live service Sonic game. Shit, I fucked it up. Not to go to move and get and spin dash at the same time, can't quite look at the phone. Oh well. That fuck. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, with Sonic Movie 3 coming at the end of 2024, then we're 100% gonna see Movie Shadow and maybe, um, any other characters they introduce. And if the Knuckles series ever comes the fuck out, then we're probably gonna see movie versions of whatever the characters are introduced in that show. So, um, yay.